In this week's episode, a controversial ruling lifts South Africa's rhino horn trade ban, scientists save albatross chicks from rising seas, Indonesia's national bird is in trouble, and 100,000 bats invade an Australian town. Starting with the controversial ruling in South Africa, lifting the country's seven-year ban on the rhino horn trade. The decision means that rhino horn can now be bought and sold within South African borders, subject to permits, but the international trade remains illegal. The ruling comes after two South African rhino ranchers sued officials for a moratorium on trade put in place in 2009. Many conservationists are outraged at the decision, claiming that the government doesn't have the necessary measures in place to prevent horns being smuggled out of the country illegally. From one legal battle to another, a challenge to California's shark fin ban has failed. The ban on possession and sale of shark fins survived a legal challenge when the U.S. Supreme Court rejected an appeal by Bay Area suppliers and sellers of shark fin soup. The ban took effect in 2013 and meant that shark fin soup was removed from all menus. And good news for the pristine waters of the Arctic. Cod fishermen and leading seafood suppliers have struck a major deal. The companies, including McDonald's and Tesco, have said that their suppliers will refrain from expanding their cod fisheries into the Arctic region. The agreement follows an investigation by Greenpeace, which revealed that cod suppliers were taking advantage of melting Arctic ice to fish farther north with fleets of bottom trawlers. Off to Oahu, where scientists are teaming up with the U.S. Navy to save albatross chicks from rising seas. The partnership aims to establish a new albatross colony by relocating eggs from a naval base to a wildlife refuge. It's hoped the young birds will think of the wildlife refuge as their home and birthplace, returning as adults to nest. Staying with birds, Indonesia's national bird is in trouble. The Javan hawk eagle is among 13 species threatened by the illegal trade. Wildlife Trade Monitoring Network, Traffic, has warned that the huge demand for songbirds has led to their dramatic population declines. And a secret population of Tasmanian devils has just been discovered living in the remote corner of Apple Isle. Researchers confirmed the discovery using DNA sequencing of devil droppings found in the area. An isolated population is great news for the tumor-plagued devil, which suffers poor resilience to disease due to its shallow gene pool. From land to sea with an octopus invasion. A new study shows that populations of octopuses, squid, and other cephalopods have increased over the past 60 years even as other marine life has declined. The population boom might seem like good news, but scientists are unsure of the long-term implications for marine ecosystems. And a town in Australia is in a state of emergency after being overtaken by a swarm of bats. Over 100,000 gray-headed flying foxes, a protected species, have covered almost every surface of the plagued town. The creatures have never been seen before in such numbers, and the reason for the invasion is unknown. Rounding off with this amazing footage of a shark feeding frenzy. Filmed off the coast of Australia, the clip shows more than 70 huge tiger sharks feasting on the carcass of a humpback whale. That's it for this week. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.